Hey, Maxwell here. I'm with Cascade Sciences. I'm their chemist. I wanted to talk about setting up the optimal parameters, the best possible conditions with which you can run the pure path distillation system. So when you're using this, you want to put crude oil in here and it's going to drip down and it's going to evaporate off and recondense on the internal column so that you can have what you're looking for in this flask here on the left. Now, the boiling point, the rate at which your crude is going to boil up and recondense into the other side, is going to depend a lot on the biomass, the plant material that's going into it. And that can vary from field to field, from day to day, water content, there's a lot of variables that go into it. And as a result, the temperatures that you are running at are going to vary. You're not going to be able to use the same parameters every single time. One distillate might be best distilled at 175, one might be best distilled at 165, and you don't necessarily know, you'll be doing guesswork. But we have a way of working around that guesswork. It's the Carry 630, let me show you. So this is the Agilent Carry 630 FTIR. That stands for Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy Machine. And what you do with it is you'll take a little sample and just dribble it onto the diamond. You only need enough to cover this tiny, tiny sample size. You'll lock it down, and from there, you can take a scan. And um, what it is measuring is absorbance. Uh, absorbance is how much light is absorbed by the, by the sample. So imagine you have several different containers with different concentrations of red food coloring. The one with the highest concentration is going to be really dark, really vibrant red. And then you're going to have one that's half as concentrated, it's going to be lighter. Another that's a quarter as concentrated, it's going to be even lighter. And what we're measuring is just how light they are relative to each other. So by using infrared light, which is light that is of longer wavelength than red light, we can see where exactly this molecule is absorbing this energy. And by taking a bunch of different scans of different concentrations, you can build a chart with high concentration, medium concentration, and then low concentration, and essentially make a line so that when you put a sample on here of unknown concentration, this will tell you exactly what its potency is. So by identifying that potency, you can reapply it to the parameters used on your pure path system so that you will know exactly what is in your heavies, what is in your lights, and whether or not you need to rerun your distillation. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask for Maxwell at Cascade Sciences. If you want to know more things about science, if you want to know chemistry, I'm your guy. If you want sales, talk to Jackson. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>